Hi everybody, I'm Lois Ruby. I'm a librarian, an author, a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and incidentally, a lover of pigs. And I wanna to talk to you today about the importance of reading and about a certain book. It takes place in Kansas because that's where my three sons grew up. And it's about a 13 year old boy named Marty, just a regular kid who's passionate about baseball and especially about a center fielder who plays for the Yankees in 1953 and his name is Mickey Mantle. So it's the Korean War winding down. It's other strange things going on in 1953 and you'll have to read the book to find out what all of them are and some of them are not so great. One is that a senator, a US Senator, Joseph McCarthy, has decided that the country is being overrun by communists and he takes it upon himself to uproot every single communist he can find, including Marty's mother. So as a result, the FBI parks in front of Marty's house and he's, they're there 24 hours a day. And they go through the family's garbage and their mail and they climb up trees and they look in the windows and every single thing that happens, they follow them wherever they go and it's pretty scary. But Marty can handle the stress as long as he can play baseball. So naturally, he can't play anymore because the coach kicks him off the team. The coach says, we don't want commies hanging out on the field with us. So now what's Marty going to do? And as if that isn't enough, some very good friends of his family, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, are convicted as spies and are cooling their heels on death row and they are headed for the electric chair. They will be executed in June of 1953 and they will leave behind two young sons who will suddenly become orphans. Well, it's pretty intense for Marty, but you know how he deals with all that stress? He writes memos to Mickey Mantle. And let me give you an example of one. This is just part of one. Uh, it says, Dear Mickey, what's left to talk about, Mick? Just baseball, I guess. It's gonna be Yankees Dodgers again, right? I gotta figure out a way to miss school so I can watch the World Series on television. So I'm planning to come down with elephantiasis or guinea worm disease just in time for game one. I've got from now to October to figure out how to catch it. Call me if you have any ideas. The FBI guys would be thrilled to hear your voice. and They're still out there, your friend, Marty. But does Marty dare send these memos to Mickey Mantle? Maybe he thinks they're too silly. Maybe he thinks they're too personal. Maybe he thinks Mickey Mantle would laugh at him. Or maybe he doesn't send them because he knows the FBI is trailing him 24 hours a day. I lived the story as a child. It took me 23 years to write the book, but I didn't start writing it until I was an adult and could really process all that information from my childhood. And I hope you will find the book because it's a funny, happy, sad, good middle grade read aloud that is really quite relevant to our times today. You know, I believe that everybody can write. You may not think so, but if you can think, you can write. So I'd like to do this little exercise with you. If I were there visiting your school, we could do it together. But since I can't be there, you can do it on your own with your teacher, with your students and so forth. So it's uh, related to the book. And I want you to imagine that your family is in deep, deep trouble like Marty's family was and you have to get out of town as quickly as possible. And I want you to think about two items. One is what you would absolutely have to take with you because you couldn't live without it. And the other item is what you absolutely have to leave behind. Take about five minutes to write about this and then um, send me your stories. Here's my information. Here's my website and my email address 
and also the link to the trailer for Red Menace. So whatever you do, please keep reading. That's the most important thing I have to tell you for today. So teachers, read to your kids. Kids, read to your dogs. Read, read, read. And for you to remember that, I wanna remind you of one thing. You don't have to read every day, just on the days you eat. Bye, everybody.